and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. I'm Phantom Mushroom, and last time we killed two out of the three little goblin bosses, I guess? And um, I went to camp to go recover before we kill the third guy, because the third guy, from the looks of it, is probably going to be the hardest. I don't know why I keep trying to press AS or WASD. Um, but from the looks of it, he looks the hardest. Like... Killing that guy is gonna be rough, let me tell you. Asterion, my love! Yes. Uh, oh. I just wanted to talk to you. Okay. Never mind, I guess. Um, I don't think anybody has anything to say, because I talked to them last time, so I just... Assist... Wait, someone in camp still wishes to speak to me? Who wants to talk to me? Is it the dog? Is it Gail? Gail, are you okay, buddy? You're looking a little rough over there. Come on, then. Don't leave me in suspense. How are you feeling? No errant tentacles? No sudden cravings for a more cerebral diet? Um, I'm feeling great. <laughs> now that you mention it, I do feel a sudden unrelenting urge to just crack open your... Replete with ribaldry as always. Well... You could provide no better proof that you are not, in fact, about to turn into a mind flare. Famously humorless, Elithids. The tyrannical enslavement of all other living creatures hardly lends itself to levity. Should your wit begin to suffer, only then must we worry. Uh-huh. Was there another matter you wish to discuss? Was that literally it? Um, are you alright? You look a bit unwell. We've been traveling together for a while now, and it's just about time that I shared something with you. It's a rather personal matter that I'd have preferred to keep quiet, but needs must when the devil drives. I have no choice but to speak. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Uh, what kind of condition? The specifics are rather personal. But suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with, though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. So you're thirsting for magical power. Your illness causes you to consume raw magic. I'm going to need the details. Are you telling me you're addicted to magic? <laughs> no, no, it's nothing like that. Magic isn't a narcotic to me. It's quite literally a lifesaver. I would not burden anyone other than myself with this were the stakes not so high and the means of obtaining such artifacts challenging for a humble wizard to face alone. You poor, poor In thing. Since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted, it is time, and by that I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. I don't know if I have anything. Where do you suggest we find the artifacts? Can you eat the one that's like, I got? The weird little cube? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. The little black one that was shaking? How hard one such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. Huh. Honestly, that sounds terrible. There's no upside for me. Then I suggest you look closer. Having a wizard like me around is quite the boon when facing the perils that stalk these lands. It'd be far harder for me to assist you if I could barely stand upright. Please, trust me. Your help. I don't even use you in my party. <laughs> Ooh, use my tadpole. You know what? I, I'm sorry. I'm going to dig into your brain for a second. I'm curious. Woohoo! Open up that big skull of yours. Let me inside. You become one in Gale's mind. And you can feel something sinister oppressing you. It's inside of you. A mighty darkness radiating from your chest. You could try to push further, but your hold over Gale feels brittle. 
It won't be easy delving deeper without him noticing. You know what? Let's let's delve deeper. Why not? Fifteen. Oh. Woohoo! Dig deeper. Show me that brain. You see through. I want to eat it. Eyes staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. Keeping me in suspense, are you? Come on, tell me. Ooh! All right, fine, fine. As luck would have it, you're already primed to give me exactly what I need. All right, fine. Oh, I'll give you a magic artifact. Let's see. Man, I have all of these equipped. Damn it. I, I have all of these equipped except the gloves of power. All right, I'll just give you this. Unless anybody else has anything. Nope. Okay. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, you all right there, buddy? Well? Oh. That hit the spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Well, I'm... <laughs> I'm glad to know you're feeling better. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Uh-huh. Hmm. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. Well, you better. <laughs> that condition of yours is a very expensive one. I obtained it in Waterdeep. Nothing there comes cheap. I don't know what Waterdeep is, but... Are we... are we done here? Is there anything else to say? What do you mean? Somebody still wishes to speak to me. Which one of you? Who is it? Huh? Which one of you? I think Shadowheart also wants to speak. Something the matter. Wait. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah. What was that? A joyous little affliction that visits me with screaming agony on occasion. I'd be lying if I told you I know what causes it. But don't worry. Can't hurt you. Only me. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. Why are all of you, like, plagued it's with some sickness? Something I have to live with. Are you sure it's not connected to the tadpoles? Positive. You can trust me on that. Why is nobody telling me anything? How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Well, good to know. Oh, something strange happened. The artifact you carry, it just came on to me. I know. I don't understand how exactly, but I felt it go to you. It's important. Keep it close. You don't want it back. I do, but the artifact has a will of its own and powers to enforce it. It likely won't let me take it back. The best I can do is to stay close. Bide my time. Eventually, I'll need to take it. Then, I'll have to see what can be done about that. Oh. How did you get the artifact to begin with? It's not the sort of thing I can just tell anyone. 
Let's see if we can build up some trust first. Why is everybody leaving me in the dark, huh? All right, well, I guess I'm done. I guess there's more I can ask you guys, but I don't really feel like it right now, so I'm going to bed. Listen, if you're not a Sterion, I don't care. Sorry. Or there we go. A nice full rest. Don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong, or maybe you just get lucky. Whoa! What do you think you're doing? <laughs> no, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. I don't know. That looked I, like something to me. I wasn't going to hurt you. I, I just needed, well, blood. Everybody needs something there, from me. In the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. Wow. Oh, I can't believe it. We even found the boar you snacked on. Wait, was that the boar? What? It's not what you think. I'm not some monster. I didn't realize he killed the boar. I feed on animals. Boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now. Too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Oh my god. <laughs> Please. A strange sensation courses through you. And your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. Huh. Oh, this is because Gail needs magic artifacts. I don't know what's wrong with her. She's having random chronic pains. Asterion, you're hot and you're a vampire, so I hey, I can live with that. You know, let's let's push into his mind. I'm curious. Only uh, only a two? I literally could not fail this. <laughs> Let's see. Open up that big skull of yours. I... What's this? What's happening? Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. His mind opens up, revealing cracked and quivering memories. At their heart, you see dark eyes commanding you to feed. You open your mouth and bite down, not into a tender neck, but into the twisting body of a rat. The only thing your master lets you eat. Oh! Oh! You ate animals because you were forced to, not because you wanted to. I... Yes. Yes, I ate whatever disgusting vermin my master picked. So you can see why I'm slow to trust you. Oh! But I do trust you. And you can trust me. Aww. I, I believe you. Listen, he's been hurt by somebody in the past. He's just a little slow to trust people. I believe you. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? You and I that charming taste. tongue. I swear. Or charming teeth, I should say. All right, all right, fine, fine. J but not a drop more than you need. I'm, I'm feeling generous tonight. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? Oh, <laughs> hey, hey, what are you... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! Oh! It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches. Your pulse quickens. Um. I does. <laughs> I could give him a little more, right? You lean into him, losing yourself. You can feel your blood racing, coursing through both your bodies. A gentle, numb feeling starts to spread. All right, all right, that's, that's enough, that's enough, okay. 15, 15, no! Well, uh, Asteria, that's enough. You're gonna freaking you're gonna suck all my blood out. Asteria, no, 
Asteria, stop it. That's enough. That's too much. No! <laughs> no, am I going to use all my inspirations on this one freaking skill check? Uh, Asterion! Asterion, dead boy! That's enough! <laughs> That's enough! <laughs> no! It's okay, Aster Asterion. Asterion! Asterion! That's enough! <laughs> Knock it off! You get your teeth out of me right this second, young man! <laughs> There we go. Oh my goodness, it only took so much of my inspiration. Uh, of course. I was just swept up in the moment. Uh-huh. Mm. But it worked. I feel good. Strong. Happy. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, you you almost killed me. But I didn't. And that's what matters. And look what you've gained. Together, we can take on the world. You! You charming bastard! <sighs> I hope so. I look forward to seeing you fight. You better be stronger. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Why can't you now, just eat the people we kill? Me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. Oh, there he goes. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. Aww. Watch as he stalks off, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. I know he bit me while I was sleeping, but he, he was all right. He's all right. He's just a little hungry. Oh, Asterion! He wants to talk! Listen, I'm not gonna pass up an opportunity to talk to Asterion, my love! Good morning. How do you feel? Um... <laughs> my neck hurts. How do you think I feel? <laughs> Be grateful I'm not a true vampire, then. A true vampire? Apart from them, and you might wake up as a vampire spawn. Like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger but few of their powers. Oh! Is that how you can stand in the sun because you're not a true vampire? Oh no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Oh! Standing in the sun, Wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. Huh. What's causing this, the mind flares? That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. <laughs> A vampire among us. So be it. But should I wake with so much as a drop of blood on my neck, I will end him. All right, let's calm down. Let's calm down. Fine. As long as he keeps his fangs off our necks. I trust him. He won't hurt us. I like him. I love Asterion. Uh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. I just better not wake with any holes in my neck. Oh, leave him alone. There He's just a cute are. little guy. We're friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. True, true. Oh, I love Asterion. I love him. He's my favorite. We'll go ahead and leave. We'll wrap up camp. But I love him! He Listen, he can have all the blood he wants as long as he doesn't kill me. He's just a cutie patootie, a silly little guy. Happy! Asterion's vampiric hunger has been temporarily satiated. Ooh! Hey, plus one to all rolls. Oh, but I'm bloodless, so I, I have a debuff. Okay. Okay, now we need to kill this guy, which is gonna be hard. This is the final goblin boss that I need to kill. And also, I finally learned how to use the parasite. I have to click on this tree. Ooh, 
My attacks deal an additional psychic damage, but I take psychic damage? Hmm. Oh! Charge forward, pushing all objects and creatures in your path four meters away from you. Doesn't- ooh, doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. Hmm. Sacrifice half your remaining hit points to heal a target for the same health. Let's go with the force tunnel. That's disgusting. That is nasty. Oh! Creatures suffering from falling damage because of your actions take an additional damage. And that's another push. Invest in a creature with power that heals when attacks. Ooh, but makes it vulnerable. Conjure a shield around yourself or an ally granting the target 10 hit points. That one seems really good. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and do the transfusion, ew, and the thrall thing as well. God, that is disgusting. Look at my brain. Look at my poor brain. Okay, so I need to kill... I need to kill this guy next. He's got 75 health. How should I start, though? I need, I need to think really quick. Should I sneak up behind him and get a quick attack on him? Or should I perhaps take out one of the little goblins? A bomb that explodes. 12 to 21... You know what? Let's let's not do a sneak attack. Let's just explode everything. How does that sound? And this time, I'll be careful with where I stand. So we're gonna hide. I'm gonna save. And now we're gonna go ahead and throw this and hopefully kill all these little goblins. will not go unavenged it seems okay that was so much better all right just now with you i'll have you Ooh, do i want to go for the big guy like, let's go for the big guy yeah i think you can take me on the sooner he's killed the better and that was a nice critical hit that was really nice I want you to hide too. I want you to shoot this little guy. Yes. Oh! Oh my god, you can get up here! Why did I not know this? Oh, there's gotta be cool things up here. Oh my god! Remind me to go up there after this fight, because I did not know I could get up there. Asterion, look out! Critical miss! Oh, thank god. Oh. Asterion! No! Kill him! Ah! Woohoo! Oh, finally! Finally killed all three of these bastards. Speak of the dead. I do like this. Give me that. Give me your key. And give me, this thing looks cool. I'm, I'm gonna leave you with the javelin. You can keep that. And um, what about this body? Oh, we should probably go help him. Are you okay? He can't, Asterion, are you okay? He kind of pushed you off. Are you, are you okay, my love? <laughs> he got pushed off a fucking cliff. I didn't think he was gonna go for Asterion. I thought he was gonna go for me. Basic poison. Supply pack. I'm kind of being picky with what I carry now. What's hiding? Oh! We finally killed everything, though. Thank God. Wait, so now that I've killed everybody, why are there still markers? Oh, he's knocked out? What do you mean he's knocked out? Kill him! I don't want him to be knocked out! I want him to be dead! There's a parasite in that There we go! Brimming with potent magic. Yeah, let's give me that. 
Wait, does that mean I knocked out the other two and they're not actually dead? Um, where's my quests? Yeah, Martha died before she could lead an attack on the grove. Kill all three leaders! Okay. Oh, well, I just heard a cat. With the- with them defeated, the goblins have no leadership and they won't be a threat now. See, two stone- or two rocks with one stone. Uh, you know what I mean. Um, so now we killed her so there won't be an attack on the grove. And we can tell the tieflings they're safe to leave. And guess what? I get all these riches. Oh, it's great. Oh, it's amazing. You know, I'm just gonna take everything. I'm rich! I'm rich! I'm- I'm so rich. I'm so happy. But we are all so hurt. Oh, I did say I wanted to go up here and see what was up here. Hopefully I don't fall, but, um... Oh, and I should probably save. Hold on. Give me a second. I need to save after I killed that guy, because that was a brutal battle. I didn't realize I could go up here, because I thought this was just gonna lead to, like, another way out or something. Um, I'd love to know if there's something cool up here. Grease bottle. That's blood from when he pushed poor Astera. And oh, what a chest over there. Hey, that's pretty cool. Something good here, I hope. Would you look at this? A rope? Um, I'm assuming I can use that to get out of high places. And then I'm gonna probably jump over here. Just doing a bit of acrobatics, you see? I'm on life support right now, though, so I need to be careful. <laughs> Can't go there. Bitch, watch me. Oh, they're just silver plates and stuff? Whatever. I guess loot is loot. Now, I want to see what's over here. Oh, there's more planks up here. There's so much up here. Come, come over here. A lot of cool stuff. Oh, is that another chest? Wait, come over here. Whoa! Oh! That's right, these guys are upset with me because I kind of... Oh. Well, that's awkward. Okay, there we go. Finally, that's over with. Can I go over and get my chest now? I didn't mean to trigger all that combat. It was such a pain in the butt fighting from up here. Oh, and there's more over here. God, there is so much... There's so much up here. What's inside? This is so cool. I'm finding so many cool secrets up here. I didn't even know I could get up here until I made Asterion accidentally come up here. Oh, what are those? There's like drawings. That's interesting. Can't go any further over here. Okay, yeah. I think I think it's time to leave. You know, I'm sure this is good for now. Um, we're gonna go up to the door, save. Because I have a feeling the goblins outside won't be too happy with me. I don't need any attention. And we're just gonna leave. <laughs> I just massacred this entire place. And now we get to leave. Are you guys out here gonna be angry? Or are you gonna be cool? I don't know. Oh! Well, guys. I'm thinking they're a little bit angry. Is there a, is there a back door I can leave? It was over here, right? This this is the way the other guy escaped. Ooh, what's that mushroom? Is there a, there was a guy that escaped over here. What is this? Mysterious mushroom. Like that'll fit in my pack. I don't know what it is, but I want you to touch it. And now we can go ahead and jump over here. Mm. 
All right, let's leave. <laughs> hopefully this exit isn't, wait. Okay, hopefully this exit doesn't have a bunch of goblins. Yes. Oh, and a chest. I'm saved. It's okay, I can, I can, I can just pick up the chest. Hold on, hold on, um, Action. hey, hey, I'm gonna need you to come pick up this entire fucking chest, will you? Perception failed, what do you mean? What are you perceiving? Oh! Oh, I didn't mean to, okay. I was gonna go disarm it. Well, it still went off, but at least she wasn't near it. How long is it gonna take for this poison cloud to clear up? Just as I expected. Oh, what are you doing? You know, I guess we'll all just walk through it. Why not? <laughs> are you coming? I guess I could have waited a few, a bit for it to clear up, but whatever. Oh, speak with Zevlor. Hopefully I don't run into any trouble on the way there. Otherwise, that could be bad. Astorian, how is the rat diet going? It may soon come. If you don't shut your mouth. <laughs> All right. This tiefling is pretty fragile. I have a mind to end their misery myself. Oh, shut up! I need a quick word. A scout just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. Woohoo! You might escape this place yet. And I hear you are the one to thank. I'm grateful. No problem, buddy. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. Oh, for little old me? You don't need to do that. Thank you. It's not enough. But it's all we have. Aww. Sin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. Wait, is that the guy I, I was out looking for? up with Corker. As for us... No armies at our heel. I was out looking for him and he just returned? We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to <gasps> celebrate if you'll have us. I would love to! There. I got a couple of things I need to do first. Oh, look at them! I'm so happy. Oh, guardian of the forgotten. Oh, no. Back to worrying about road rations. It is so many mouths to feed, but well, that's not a bad problem to have. Thank you, truly. Aww. I love this. This is so sweet. Hey, I need to sell a lot of junk. So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. Aw, I'm glad I could help. As am I. And I'm sure those poor refugees would quite agree. Aww. Of course. That's so sweet! 